and welcome back to Lehigh Valley Real Estate Video Tips with Heather Martin. In today's video, we are going to talk about, now this is for either a home buyer or home seller, what is dual agency? Okay, so dual agency is when a real estate agent actually handles both sides of the transaction for the same house sale. So let's say I have a house listed on the market. I'm the listing agent and a buyer come, I, ha I hold an open house. Okay. Cause I'm trying to sell the property and a buyer comes in and wants to purchase the house. And I say, Oh, well I can help you do that. So then I would be representing the seller and the buyer in the same transaction. How do I feel about that? I don't like it in a standard transaction. So when I say a standard transaction, that means the only time I will do a dual agency situation is in a short sale. And let me tell you why. Because in a regular transaction, the goal of the seller and the listing agent is to get as much money as possible for that house. Their job as a listing agent is to get as much money for the seller as possible and negotiate on their behalf. When a buyer's trying to buy a property, their job is to get the house for as cheap as possible and negotiate on the best interest for the buyer. So having the same real estate agent in one transaction is like having the same attorney in a courtroom, okay? It makes no sense. It's a huge conflict of interest. And the only reason that um, I don't have a problem with doing it in a, in a short sale is because in a short sale situation, my job is to negotiate as a listing agent. My job is to negotiate um, with the bank and make sure if I cho chose to be the negotiator as well, to negotiate on behalf of the uh, seller to negotiate current market value for the property. There is really no negotiations on um, getting the property for under current market value. In a short sale, you're paying current market value no matter what, okay? So the seller is not trying to get as much money for the property as they can and line their pocket as deep as possible. So there really is no conflict of interest there. So in any case, hopefully you understand a little bit more about dual agency and you always make sure you have your own real estate agent in your transaction. Make sure you check back off and right here at Lehigh Valley Real Estate Video Tips with Heather Martin.